The upper parking lot at Sluice Boxes State Park was quiet and empty Monday morning, save for the wind and a Cascade County Sheriff's Deputy's patrol SUV blocking the entrance to the park's hiking trail. Some four miles into the park, however, emergency personnel were working to remove the body of 20-year-old Brendan Rollins. It's not simple at all. In fact, it's very technical. Cascade County Sheriff Jesse Slaughter said there was no way to know how long the work would take. Every situation like that's different. A helicopter from Maelstrom Air Force Base was expected to be used to remove the body so it can be taken to Missoula for an autopsy if necessary. According to the sheriff's office, Brendan and his friend, Logan Hackinson, got separated Friday night while hiking in the park. After spending the night camped in a ravine, Hackinson was found alive and well by a hunter Saturday. Six agencies searched for Rollins, finding his body in a different ravine Sunday. From what I was told, it was very steep. Um, ravine and it was down in, and it had caves and stuff like that down inside of it. How exactly Rollins ended up there is under investigation. It's very, very easy in Montana once you lose your daylight to lose your bearings. Always plan you could be there overnight and have the proper protective equipment. Monday afternoon, on a Facebook page created for the search, a post announcing Rollins' body had been found had been shared over 700 times with close to 300 comments expressing prayers and condolences for the family. In Cascade County, Coulter Anstat, MTN News.